So everyone watching this knows who PewDiePie is, and I think everyone who knows PewDiePie, every once in a while he'll put out some amazing music song or like a meme -y song on his YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about one of the people who helps him make these music videos, a YouTuber by the name of Boy in the Band. Yeah, the guy with the red hair in the, uh, the PewDiePie videos is the best way I can describe him. Now, he runs his own YouTube channel with 3 million subscribers, which is huge because honestly, I kind of thought he did the thing with PewDiePie and left it. Boy in a Band has been away from the internet for over a year now, and Pe his, his ca entire community has gone very worried about him, especially because he takes a bunch of, he takes a lot of different medications to help with mental health problems. And so when people started asking around some very serious allegations started coming forward about Boy in a Band. So Boy in a Band, as you might know, is a YouTuber who, who's worked with big mainstream YouTubers like PewDiePie and Jaden Animation. Only 18% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel. Don't be part of the 81%. Subscribe to the channel. You have nothing to lose. Once the allegations came out, Jaden Animation's video with him actually is no longer on her channel. Now, I'm not sure if this has any correlation, but but, I mean, it's hard to believe it might not. Some of the allegations are so serious. I think it's important to preference this that Boy in a Band has not replied to any of these allegations with his own defense, and these are completely speculatory and alleged allegations. But over on his subreddit, this was posted and it absolutely blew up. Dave from Boy in a Band, over a decade of abuse and underneath an almost perfect public persona. Dear fans of Dave from Boy in a Band, first of all, I want to thank you for your time and understanding. We want you to know this is not intended to try to handle this. We tried to handle this as privately and as quietly as possible. Some time ago, a group of his ex-partners wrote a letter to his family in hopes of stopping the ongoing pattern of abuse. Below you can read that letter. We know that we know that there were more victims of his in his past. And if you're one of them and we didn't find you, message us. All we want to do is tell you that you're not alone and that none of this is your fault. Thank you. The letter reads, Dear Brown family, friends, and fans of Dave from Boy in a Band, we apologize for contacting you this way. We are a group of girls who knew and dated David in real life, depending on the person over one to six years some of us met some of us some of you personally we know you love david and want to see him as a good person and a role model we were also the people who once loved him and cared about him deeply we understand that they were happy to see him still we understand that you want to see him happy still decades of enabling his abusive behavior has led to, led to many horrific dangerous situations that included years of lies manipulation emotional physical financial and even sexual s s actual abuse of many young girls so these are some very serious allegations as you know david is a 35 year old polyamorous man with over a decade of provable history of dating girls much younger than him including the highly guilt gullible obsessive young fans as you know he once dated rachel who was 17 at the time when he was 23. rachel was a fan of his band and fell in love with him when she was just 15 years old. David ended up hitting her and telling that to at least two of his future girlfriends, which we can also prove. Let us know that the relationship in many countries would be considered that word. There are two videos on his channel that include Rachel when she was 17. In one, he brags about waking up to her. and the next, he makes her sing a song that includes the following lyrics, Take Me Without My Consent, which is super creepy. After they admire him and write to him on his social media, he starts to date these young girls and fans he then tells them how much he loves them and that they are irreplaceable and finds and finally discards them for new ones as soon as they disagree or refuse to do whatever he wants most of these encounters include him renting an airbnb to be with those girls for a few weeks then discarding them we know this is very difficult for you to read but it needs to be said he also was provenly had a, a corn addiction that includes him being attracted to pre-teenage girls women who dress like children which is super creepy he's a hebophile it's sickening especially considering that he dedicated his career to helping struggling young people and he ended up harming many of them 
Many of his past partners ended up in years of therapy due to the trauma caused by David. He also has a pattern of dating and sleeping with a specific group of girls younger. Most of his recent girlfriends were 10 or more years younger than him, over whom he had power and control over, and he never and who are never his equals. What we mean by this is young, poor girls, often students with no big careers yet, who can he can impress with his success in money. He exclusively chooses as girls with a vast gap in money and influence so he can manipulate and mold them. Most of them were too scared to speak out about it due to this reason. His preferences also include a physical superiority over his partners, looking very young, pre-adolescent, usually skinny, and if not, he encourages them to losing, lose weight, calling them lazy and disgusting. This is from a man who made a song with Jadam animations to help girls with anorexia, which is just one of the craziest parts about it. He coerced multiple young girls into, into being polyamorous, even if it was something they had never considered before. He advertises it as a superior way of living, which is is highly inappropriate if not abusive. He tells his partners that they are replaceable, disappears if they don't do anything he wants, he treats them with absolutely zero empathy. They mean nothing to him outside his pleasure, he wants his wants and his entertainment. When girls want to leave, he either blocks them before they can confront him or uses his depression and as cards as to force them to stay until he gets bored with them. He uses his depression to control girls by justifying why he treats them like garbage or playing the victim. He refuses to take any personal responsibility and accountability for how cruel, vindictive, callous, hurtful, and abusive he is. If you ever wonder why years of therapy never really helped him, it's because he cannot face who he really is and he's unable to take ownership of the things he did, painting himself in a bright light in front of his therapist. Over the last few years, he's repeatedly mixed medications including antidepressants, ADHD medicine, and whiskey and weed, which is very bad if you were unaware of that. You should not be mixing medications like that. Seriously, if you're going to read instructions or or any instructions on anything, medication is definitely the one of them. He used, abused, and left so many girls that he could, at this point, write an alphabet from, from the first letters of their names. Please remember he advises himself as a male feminist to the entire world, which in reality, he's an abuser of many young girls. And you know what? I think I'm just going to stop for a second and say, this is a big red flag that you should point out for it. Now, now, obviously, this is not always the case, but I find more often than not, men who describe themselves as male feminists and are super you know male feministly online are hiding something like they're either terrible to women i mean this guy says he's a male feminist and then abuses multiple girls so now obviously i'm not saying that's always the case but it's definitely something you should be aware of and try to look out for the statement follows he acts similarly with his friends treating them badly and replaceable lying about them to make him felt make himself look good or whatever he wants for example when after having no contact for more than a decade with his bandmates out of the blue he tweeted out that they used to ignore his self-harm which is a lie confirmed and confronted by his bandmates on twitter and reddit years ago darren admitted they talked after and both apologized but dave never acknowledged that and left the tweet on his front page for almost two years now sending his twitter mob over his past friends who have normal lives and dave got thousands of sympathy tweets from young girls that strongly relate to the problem of self-harm he does things like this to get attention and pity all the time. Again, we are sorry that you had to read this. We are not his haters, not witch hunters, and not strangers. We don't want anything. We're not interested in being associated with him in any way. All we need to do is to warn his young fans about what he can do and what happens to, to them like you. We used to care about him, but we has, but he has to be stopped. Depression cannot be used on a, as an excuse to treat people this way. Treating any human this way is inexcusable. Nobody has been left by him unharmed a lot of people are replying by saying you know i'm so glad to see this being talked about publicly he's abusive and dehumanizing to many women so yeah this is apparently proof from an ex-girlfriend that he was talking to a 70 year old when he was 27 which is just super creepy it's really unfortunate because i actually do believe this guy boy up band is quite musically talented i know he's worked with pewdiepie and jana animations to help make them music and lyrics and their they were the videos were quite entertaining it's just unfortunate that there's so many allegations against him now once again these are allegations there hasn't 
There hasn't been a response from Boy in a Band, especially because he's been missing from the internet, but if any of these allegations are honestly true, he needs to be stopped, something needs to be done, this is unacceptable behavior, and it just sucks because I know a bunch of big creators like Jaden Animations and PewDiePie have both platformed him, probably without knowing how terrible of a person he is, and sent over their young audience. If Boy in a Band decides to make a follow-up or a response to this, I'll make sure to cover it. Subscribe if you want to see his response. Also, yesterday I made a video talking about how Dr. Dis Disrespect said this one feature is going to destroy Modern Warfare and it could honestly ruin the entire Call of Duty franchise. If you're interested in Call of Duty, you need to hear this. Click this video to watch it now.